We start basically from nothing. Hyundai Motorsport began manufacturing rally cars from point zero. 이 차가 어느 정도의 성능을 가지고 주행할 수 있을까? 과연 차가 잘 달리긴 할까라는 되게 걱정도 많았었죠. Our dream was to return to the World Rally Championship after a 10-year hiatus. In 2013, 14 tests were conducted under various climate and driving surface conditions. 저 주행 테스트를 하면 할수록 문제점이 정말 산더미 같이 나왔었거든요. 정말 이걸 다 해결하고 몬테카를로 출전할 수 있을까? Time was running out for a return to racing in 2014. However, every answer that was found through repeated testing procedures gave the team more confidence. 아, 이제는 본격적으로 준비해서 WRC에 한번 출전해 볼 만하다. With passion to push them past the setbacks and failures for the past 10 years, the history of Hyundai Motorsport has finally begun. World Rally Championship 2014, season opening round in Monte Carlo. Mechanics concentrate intensely on completing their final checks. Around 100 staff members from around the world work hard to make today's return to the WRC a success. The veteran, Danny Sordo, and the newcomer, Thierry Nivelle, showcased a driving talent for Hyundai Motorsport. I decided to join Hyundai Motorsport because it's a perfect fit for me at this stage in my career. Uh, it's young and ambitious. The history of Hyundai Motor Company in the WRC began in 1998. However, the WRC stage was not an easy environment to survive in. Hyundai ran his last rally in 2003. Such a short time on the world stage was not enough time to gain meaningful experience. They were determined to challenge the best. With Korea's independent technology and ingenuity, this is how Hyundai returned to Monte Carlo. The shakedown on the day before the race. This is the final opportunity for the drivers and teams to check if their cars are set up properly for the course's weather and surface conditions. Indeed, uh, we succeeded very well in the shakedown. It was the first outing of the car. Uh, both cars did uh, quite well, so we are rather happy about uh, the happening of this morning. We had all a lot of passion, uh, but it was a lot of work as well to be here. But yeah, a long challenge for us. The car was working well, no issues, so it's a good start. Thierry Neville at the starting line, the first of 15 stages at the Rally Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo is notorious for being a tough course. Drivers must be fast over endless twisting and winding mountain roads. The pre-dawn darkness and a winter shower make today's start especially nerve-wracking. Slipping through the corner, the car loses grip and crashes into a utility pole. The rising sun sheds light on the disaster. That's Thierry's car. This may take some time to fully repair. We, we expected only rain. The temperature was slightly colder than expected. The ground was frozen. Uh, we did a, a small mistake. It was in, not in the daylight. Thierry's cars transport the base camp, the team service park. The team mechanics gather to discuss the repairs, but due to WRC regulations, the team could not continue the rally. It, it's a race, it can, it can happen. We have two cars and then we, we try to, to get as much as we can with Danny. Hyundai's sole remaining driver, Danny Sordo, is making it safely through the stages. Sordo is making progress. His team can monitor his drive now. They can learn about the car. That's what they said they wanted to do in Monte Carlo. Sordo being careful to look after his car. And by doing so, he's thrilling high and high because he finishes this stage, that stage four, in third place. 
Donnie's battling hard. The team staff's excitement can be felt in the monitor room. It seems that Donnie's car has also stopped. Drivers are allowed to make repairs to their cars during a WRC event. They can't find the cause of the problem. Donnie is extremely frustrated by this turn of events. We are fighting for, for second place. It was really, really good. But uh, we have a small problem. He didn't take the energy more. Since Donnie could not repair the car and move on to the next stage, he's forced to retire. They all worked very well together uh, to try to find a solution, but in vain, we couldn't uh, fix it. In the end, both cars that entered the Rally Monte Carlo were unable to continue after the first day. You're still to improve. And I changed everything, everything, and I worked for 15, 20 minutes in the rain and everything. And train, train, train. More than half an hour. Although the Hyundai team's debut was cruel, this was the first of many rallies in the season. But right now, everyone just needs some consolation. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I think it's important to do a day briefing uh, after each rally. Some people think it was negative, but I think uh, it was also a positive experience on it. Uh, for the team, it was a very big effort to get everything ready in time. We have 20 people in there. It's a really good step ahead. We failed on the first day. We lost both cars. It was sad for the whole team. But we said, okay, you know, we managed to be there. We had only 10 months to build up the team. We said together, we said, okay, what can we improve? What can we do better for the next event? The Hyundai Motorsport team continues to face adversity. Their return to the World Rally Championship has been unforgiving. 그러니까 몬테카를 이후에 스웨덴에서도 서스펜션 파손 문제들이 발생하고 어떤 거 하나 고치고 나면 다른 게 문제가 생기고 이런 계속된 상황이었거든요. 포기를 하진 않았습니다. A setback is not a reason to quit. The most important goal for a young team is to finish the rally. Collecting data is the key to development. Every young team on the beginning has his uh, stones on the way. We have been always in the fight. It takes courage to continue the battle and confidence grows. Thierry Neuville has taken just three rallies to produce the I-20 WRC's first podium. Faster than expected, the team takes their first podium. But again, their advancement is marred by misfortune. The road to success is paved with failures and mistakes. The only way they succeed is to overcome those obstacles. This is why they just can't give up. I mean, in the first season, the goal was to, to learn, to finish the rallies, to learn about the service, to learn about rallying. We had a lot of new people and they all had to learn. For us as a team, it was a learning process the first year. We got better and better all the time.
asphalt may seem to be a more predictable surface, but dangers lurk everywhere. Everyone needs to be 100% focused even during the shakedown. It was a really difficult event with a bad road condition, a lot of rain, a slippery road. It happened really suddenly. We were really, really focused. It was working well till that turns. My door uh, was open when we were rolling. It was really close to be really injured. A roll cage kept the drivers from serious harm. They were lucky to crash into a vineyard on relatively softer ground. The damaged cars returned to the service park. Upon visual inspection, the damage looks extensive. This is reminiscent of the nightmare of retiring due to accident at the Rally Monte Carlo. But this time, the mechanics did not back down. If they can't fix the car, Thierry will have to retire from the Rally Deutschland. The uh, accident in the shakedown of Thierry was uh, quite a surprise because it was a last minute accident. Uh, we were very, very impatient to see the car back, uh, coming back to the surface park uh, to see how much damage was on the car. Uh, we saw that it was a serious, serious impact and that the mechanics would have a lot of work to make it uh, drive again. The next morning, 30 minutes before the start of the first stage, the repairs were complete. I would say first of all thank you to the whole team, they have done an amazing job. The car looks like new again and uh, we were back on the road today, so really pleased with that and uh, uh, big thanks to my mechanic. A young team must unite in spirit and in mind if they are to overcome their challenges. The other team was standing outside our service and applauded us uh, for the fantastic job we've been doing. Many people was thinking we will be not able to fix the car in that time. Taking on a challenge means doing whatever is necessary to make it impossible, possible. The Hyundai Motorsport team poured their spirit into the I-20. Its courage and determination can be seen on the course. Incredible scenes here in Drontau. And as Latvala's nightmare unfolds, it also of course means that the fight for second is now a fight for the win. 26-year-old Thierry Neuville has not put a foot wrong since his huge shakedown smash. He finds himself just corners away from a career-defining moment. Yeah! <laughs> no one imagined Hyundai would taste victory in its first year of its return to the World Rally stage. The victory is not just for the drivers, Thierry and Nicholas. The result is a culmination of the collective struggle of the entire team. I'm really proud of the work everybody did in the team and uh, it, the job Nicolas and me did uh, without any mistake. So, uh, great result and uh, yeah, a good moment for, for everybody. There's another major player in the team's victory. Danny's second place finish helped soothe the pain of Monte Carlo. Although the win increases Thierry Neville's points total in the Drivers' Championship standings, 
It also adds to Hyundai Motorsports points total in the manufacturer championship standings. Uh, we didn't uh, even imagine that we would win uh, one race this, this year, but finally it's happened and much earlier than expected. It's a great confirmation that we have made the right choice to join Hyundai in, 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 in World Rally Championship. I'm happy to work all the team, especially the mechanics, the engineer. To do first and second for Hyundai in Germany was fantastic. In the team, he worked hard for, for that. He was a nice person. The Korean national anthem was heard on the podium for the first time in WRC history. 2014 was full of trial and error. There were countless challenges and even more failures. Through all of it, the Hyundai Motorsports team stayed the course. In 13 rallies, in 13 countries, they stood on the podium three times. There were some regrets, but it was a good year. In fact, it was a, a quite steep learning curve because we had the technical problems in the beginning. Uh, we had cars that we had to repair overnight. And out of everything, we had a lesson to learn. So for us, it was really uh, the right way to handle. And I'm sure in the future, if we would do it again, we would act in the same way. They said they would return solely on Hyundai technology. They said, it was a near impossible challenge. They did it. Now, the real challenge for Hyundai Motorsports begins.